everyone, welcome back. It's Night Bell, and if you don't recall last time, we were doing some silliness with our Genshin Impacting. Um, yeah, I was kind of tired of the sand, and we decided to go and do some other stuff, especially because there's a summer event going on. It's only valid for a month and a bit. And, um, we had a request from Glory, and I just wanted to show you some of the gameplay for that, because this time we actually need to bring the seeds somewhere to pop them off. So let's, 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 let's show you that first, and then we can continue. Let's go! Silly churl, Billy churl, silly Billy hilly churl. Thank you. Okay, so we gotta actually go up here. Um, she wants, this, the blind girl wants us to do something that I don't think you're allowed to do. Um, just so that we can get her wishes to Godlin. Um, remember when I kept like jumping off of the hand? Yeah, we gotta go there again. And now that I have to do it, just watch me fail miserably. But we're gonna do our best. Okay, okay. We did it. Nice. Let's get I know I'm that lazy, I'm teleporting. <laughs> She's happy. Hooray. Now, it wants us to do all this stuff, but we gotta do the Klee event quest because a lot of you like Klee, so. Mm. Where's my Klee thing? There it is. It says to wait until I It's essentially night, but let's go towards the English share. I just, I get distracted by shaggy things, you should know this by now, guys. There's Shilio. There's the angel chair. It's essentially night. Go ahead and pick up some new pieces from Shilio's blacksmith. Okay. Um, I will read up a little bit more, because this is who is Mondstadt's strongest fighter. I hope this is tied in. I hope, I hope... Oh, no, it's not. Hmm. But we won't know anything. Event guidelines. Something about Paimon. You gotta be Adventure Rank 18 and finish these. But I haven't done these, have I? Hmm. I'll do my best. I might have to try to do these some other time, but we'll see. Oh, we get all these characters. Well, we can at least do please thing, right? So. One climbs, two climbs. Why is it three not climbs. night yet? <laughs> I'm just being a little bit petulant, but let's let's. It's night around here ish, right? Billy Churl, Billy Churl. Where are you, Patton? Oh, you're outside? Probably. Oh no, he was higher. Ah! <laughs> Too bad I can't undo it. That's fine. Oh. Guess he wasn't. Shame I only get to listen in from the other side of the window and don't get to join in the debate. I'd love to give my two cents. What two cents? What are you talking about? What's the hey, debate? what? What's up? What's up? Paimon wants in! Recently, all the customers at the tavern have been debating the exact same topic. Who is the strongest fighter in Mondstadt? Paimon. The strongest fighter? It's Paimon. Hmm. Must someone who can floor a whole gang of hilly girls with just one punch! There has to be far more to it than that. Wow! Then it really must be tough to become the strongest of all. Imagine if Paimon responded that to me saying that I can do that easy. But anyway, 
Is there like a general agreement in the city on who it is, or...? <laughs> expecting people to come to a swift and straightforward consensus in the city of freedom is like expecting fishermen's toast to drop out of the sky. Note to self, make fishermen's toast drop out of the sky. Everyone's got their own opinion, backed up by a unique set of cherry-picked information. But let's be honest, that's what makes the discussion so impassioned and entertaining. Okay. Mainstream opinion is polarized, with most people supporting one of two candidates. One is the Dandelion Knight. The other is the Dark Knight Hero. So, Jean and the Dark Knight Hero? Well, we clearly do not know who that is. Paimon, who are you voting for? Oh, oh, Paimon votes for you! <laughs> That's really cute. But let's go into the tavern and talk to the patron. Maybe we'll pick up some juicy gossip. If you say so. Oh, I do envy your life of leisure. Aww. But don't mind me, of course. <sighs> I guess I'll just get back to work. Well, you're getting paid for it. Mm. Wait, Pat. This is the Trifolium chapter. Wait, what? Wait, what? Is this not what it wanted from me? The Trifolium? Right? That's no, fine. I was just excited. That's fine. I'm just too weak to do Archon quests, you know? Bruce. Hi! <laughs> Hi! Are you here to try Monstead's famous wine, too? Me. Uh, who's the strongest fighter? Uh, the strongest fighter of them all? Yeah. Well, that would be Jean, obviously! <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Grandmaster Jean is so strong. She can take out a ruin guard with just a few slashes of her sword. <clears throat> well, what about people that are magical and can do it without even And it? she could wipe out the three hilly trill tribes of Dada Uba Gorge all by her <clears throat> so. So why didn't she do it? Otherwise, we wouldn't have such a carefree existence with nothing to do. So why didn't she do it? It's true that Jean makes people feel they're in safe hands. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, this guy is drunk as a skunk. Well, he is in a bar, tavern thing. Quinn? One more for three apples? What is she thinking? Who are you? Oh, it's you. That's right, I'm Quinn of Quinn's Fruit. My booth is at Fresh Fruits Only at Quinn's Fruits. Wait, have we met before? I'm feeling lightheaded. Apples. Oh, yeah, no fruits at night, no discounts too. Uh, come again? Oh, okay. Well, who's she then? I like how this is totally not related, but who is she? B, don't know what she's thinking. Bargaining with me every day, even if she's a close friend, I couldn't sell her three apples for one more, even if I wanted to. You'd agree, right? Okay. Jack? Hey, I'm doing some adventurous training. Alcohol tolerance training, to be precise. <laughs> Want to join me? Your liver. Good luck with that tolerance. So, who's the strongest fighter? You want to know who I think the toughest fighter is? Mm hmm In my opinion, that would be the finest adventurer of them all, Stanley. Who? Guildmaster Cyrus is up there with the toughest, too. But only Stanley can take on the bloodthirsty beasts of the Mare Javari. Okay. Bloodthirsty beasts of the Mare Javari? Sounds terrifying. Do you think you'd be scared if you were faced with one of those? I mean, considering I... Just struggle through things. I'd beat it to a pulp. Yeah! Bam! Wham! Pow! What comic books have you been reading, Paimon? Cyrus? Hey, isn't it you? You're here for the wine, too? Uh, excuse me, then. Don't be a stranger. Okay, okay, let's talk to him. Just a title, when we came out in Adventure Bowl, blah, 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 blah. Real legends are for you to create. Tell me about your story. What is there to tell? Let's see. I slew three dragons, crushed two international pirate organizations, saved Tibat once. Nothing major. Where was I? Oh, I think I'm getting a bit too tipsy. Okay. Interesting. Yo, six-fingered Jose. Hey, amigo. Amigo, amigo. Same, same. 
Do you want to hear my latest composition? I put my whole heart into it, and also my soul. How about it, amigo? Amigo. Um, who's the strongest fighter? Huh? Most macho in Mondstadt. Mm -hmm. She's a little girly who wears red. Oh, I see where this is going. A girl dressed in red? That's right. I found this out one day about half a month ago, when I went up to the Storm Bear Mountains looking for inspiration for my new song. Oh yeah, we gotta do that too. Guess what happened? What? What happened? I witnessed the most powerful destructive force I have ever seen in my life. Hmm. I'm telling you, it completely changed the whole landscape in that part of the mountains. Hmm. Holy moly! I like how he only has a, a Spanish accent for like three words and then he goes into like a regular North American accent. I was hiding behind a bush and saw this little girly in red clothing running in the distance, leaving a trail of destruction in her wake. <sighs> but I don't know if anyone will believe me. I believe you. It. The idea of a tiny little girl wielding that much destructive power is a little far-fetched. You, you want to know what I think? I think you nobody have a else knows about. Maybe even the most powerful treasure in all of Mondstadt. Did, Did you say treasure? Did Batman imagine that, or do you hear it too? I heard him. It's just a guess. I mean, no. It's a bard's razor-sharp intuition. I'll take you at your word for now. Thank you, amigo. Ah, I'm so happy to meet a true amigo. Who would have thought? Ah, uh, yes, let me give myself a, uh, a Spanish uh, background by giving myself like two or three words in the Spanish, yes. Mm. So, this girl, what's her name? Ah, uh, I... I do know her name. Uh, I do not see her often in Montsat. Hmm. Hey, I'm telling the truth. You gotta believe me. Much to go on. But thanks for your intel. What would you like? Hello, friend. <laughs> Charles. What'll it be today? Give me your wine. Oh, I mean. The strongest fighter. I don't pay much attention to that sort of thing. No. Oh. How was some rum? Huh. Paimon thought bartenders had some kind of special information sorted. Yeah, those are called drunk people that can't. Stop talking. <laughs> Just like they have an exclusive supplier of wine. Exactly! That's what Paimon is getting at! <laughs> I have no involvement in any intelligence gathering operation. You know who would. But if you made me pick someone, it would be the Dark Knight hero. I'd be the one. I've heard some stories about him. Apparently, he once rescued a city dweller from the Abyss Order. Hmm. There it is! The barman's top secret intelligence! Speaking of the Abyss Order, their minions are really stirring up trouble all over the place, aren't they? Patton oh, was right about one thing. Mm, every, everyone has an opinion. If everyone's got their own opinion and can't be persuaded, how are we ever going to find out who Mondstadt's strongest fighter is? Deathmatch. Eureka! Paimon's got it! Let's match. Let's see what Jean says! Oh. Oh, she just said the an official ranking table for this kind of thing. What makes you so sure? Come on! Let's just go and ask already! We'll never find out if we don't! Okay. Bye. Probably just fast travel to this. So if it's between Jean, the Dark Knight hero, 
girl in red. And I guess they're trying to put us in there. Jean! Phew! Oh, I couldn't jump on her too. Oh, Mr. Jean! Sorry to bother you. We're collecting intel on the strong spider in Mondstadt. Do you have, uh, one of those official Knights of Favonius verified ranking table thingies? Sounds like something strongest else. Strongest fighter in Mondstadt? Mm hmm Huh. I am sorry, but I cannot help. I do not have any relevant documentation on that topic. Why wouldn't you? You should know who's, like, at least oh, ranked higher. Oh, well, that sucks. Paimon was hoping she would at least make the top five. Paimon would make the top five, or I would make the top five? <laughs> well... Although I do not have the data to make such an assessment, I will say that my faith in our honorary knight's abilities has never wavered. Thank you. Which okay, reminds okay. me, recently one of the Abyss Order's mages has been active near the city, although he is keeping a low profile. Okay. If you are staying around Mondstadt, please be on the lookout for danger. I will. Given your, well, high-ranking fighting strength, I trust you will be able to help keep the area safe. Sure. Awesome! After she beats the Abyss Order, she'll climb up that ranking table faster than she climbs up all those cliffs! Paimon? There is no ranking table. Also, well, I suck at climbing either clips. way, smashing the Abyss Order to bits is the right thing to do! True. <laughs> I like your enthusiasm. It is infectious. Jean, are you okay? Are you feeling well? You seem kind of down. But be careful out there. Okay. something hey look there okay i didn't do that it did it on its own explosion inside city wall grounded by thy woe explosions can hurt people jean can be dreadful monster be bombed Klee be doomed there's writing on here explosion inside city wall grounded be thy woe explosions can hurt people jean can be dreadful monster be bombed Klee be doomed Okay. Yikes! Mr. Kaya wrote these down for me. Um, they're, um, survival rules. Mr. Kaya? Survival rules? Y yeah. Rules that I must absolutely never break under any circumstances. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, something terrible would happen. Kaya writes like this? Yep. Ah, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Klee. Hello, Klee. I've heard all about you guys. You're the honorary knight who helps Mondstadt. Yeah, I wow. guess. Wow! More recognition! Yay! Paimon is so happy right now. Okay, Paimon. I heard it from Amber. But wait, no. There's no time for this right now. Why not? I'm dealing with a big emergency. I grabbed my map and ran as fast as I could all the way here. What's wrong? The, the treasure I buried in the Whispering Woods. It's gone. Uh -oh. Did you say buried treasure? A girl dressed in red. And she has treasure. Hi, Seriously? Clay had 16 or Jose's both for strongest fighter in Mondstadt? What is wrong with people? Lost treasure is a big deal. Let us help you find it. Yay! Thanks, you guys. Here. Here's where the map says the treasure should be. I put a circle around it. <laughs> Thanks for the circle. I also put a wooden sign in the ground at the place where I buried it to make it easier oh, to find. Oh, I saw find. that before. Paimon is starting to understand how this treasure went missing so easily. Come on, this honorary knight. Let's go. Let's go. Oof. 
Hmm. Waypoint? Waypoint. 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 Man, Gene's sad monotone is kind of infectious. I'm kind of doing it. Quit it! Oh, I guess you were supposed to clear some things. So Queen has know. not disturbed them. True. And now Queen has new friends. Also true. I never thought I'd have a new big sister to help me. <laughs> I'm so happy. I will be your big sister. Just nod. What's that in his hand? <gasps> My treasure. What? <laughs> I see the little girl has brought her friends with her. Time for a change of plan. Hey, you! If you think you're so tough, get back here and fight. I agree. What's in the mage? I play in the forest all the time, but I've never seen one before. He's kind of fluffy. Game's up! Now hand it over! Oh, you fools think I would give this up so easily after what I've been through to acquire it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, we gotta beat these guys? Fine. Run, run! Let's dance. says that stealing is wrong. Now she's the Grandmaster? I thought she's after the Grandmaster. There's more to break. There's something.
Just the one? A gateway to a domain! The Abyss Mage must have snuck inside! Then he has no way out. <sighs> you okay, Clee? Clee, do you need a rest? Why don't you wait here while we get your treasure back for you? No! I'm coming with you. Okay. It's my treasure that Mr. Floatball stole, and it's up to me to get it back. I admire your courage. <laughs> don't worry. Clee is a big girl. Good job, Clee. Come on, Miss Honorary Knight. Let's go. Let's take care of this small child. Probably should have checked it out. Oh well, we'll be fine. Oh, he's so cute. I'm having way too much fun just like messing with her. Hi! 
I like how I copy Barbara. <laughs> You followed me. <laughs> I must say, I'm impressed. <laughs> but this is as far as you will get. Is it, is that oh, the end yeah? Of the what are you gonna do? <laughs> oh, the human proclivity to gossip has provided us with everything we need. Oh. We learn. Your little red friend had in a possession the most powerful treasure in all of Mondstadt. The treasure is now in my hands. There is nothing you can do. Where is there? Now your precious treasure shall be your undoing. Are you sure? No, no, wait! Don't touch it! Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how you fret now. Your predicament is finally clear to you. Now, what have we here? A flame symbol. <laughs> okay, first of all, the voice actor for this little fluffy man. 10 out of 10. I just got jump scared by a cat. Did you hear him? No! Yes. Thank you. I broke the survival rules. Explosions can hurt people. Gene can be dreadful. <gasps> this is it. This time I'm done for. Well, you didn't do it. Uh. I think we need to go and wait, calm down, Clee. So Clee's treasure is a bomb? That was epic. No. Wonder Glee was rumored to be the strongest fighter in Mondstadt. Except the bomb is like a tool. It's not really something Glee herself. Hi, everyone like, is never picking a fight with like her, Sophia. ever. Hold on. Why has she gone and run off? Something to do with Jean? I think she's worried Jean's going to get out of Seems like it. Well then, let's head to the Knight's mm -hmm. headquarters and report to Jean. We'll make it back before her. Can you stop staring at me, please? Thank you. <sighs> My small child. Wait, what? Goodbye. Oh, so it is the other one. It's just mud two places for some reason. Oh. Okay. Klee? You're here too? Pretty quickly as well. Oh. I turned myself in. Oh. Huh? So cute. I, my, my bomb. I, I hurt someone. I broke the rules. I'll never see the light of day again. But it wasn't your bomb. Please, I need you else. to answer me. You said someone was injured. Where are they? Wait, there's been a misunderstanding. Why is that? The person that Clee blew up was an abyss mage, and also she didn't blow him up. He blew himself up. But. Boom. But Mr. Fafa was only a thief. He didn't deserve to blow up. Are you sure about that? Hey, come on now. Paimon already told you that the Abyss Mages are the bad guys. And actually, they're the worst kind of bad guys you can imagine. They don't just hate the good guys. They hate all people. Their enemy is humanity itself. Plus Paimon. Mr. Fluffbo was a bad guy on purpose? I'm going to start calling the cat Mr. Mr. Fluffball is the enemy Yo, Mr. of humanity. Stop staring at me. What? what? I don't get it. His name is Malcolm, by the way. This is an oversight on my part. I did not tell you these things before because you are still young. 
Really phoning in those lines there, Jean. In you fact, okay? the Abyss Order is a hostile force in Mondstadt, which is unusually active lately. Because of Mondstadt's most powerful Aha! Uh -huh. That's it! Hyman understands now! They were tracking down poor Clee because they heard rumors about her treasure! Just like the way Paimon's first reaction was to try and get her hands on... Uh, no. To try and get the facts on the treasure. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. So, does that mean... In light of your contribution on this matter, I will allow you to take part in the next Ludi Harpastum. What now? Ludi Harpastum? Whoa! I'm so happy for you. Miss Honorary Knight, you've got to come too. I do? whoop de doo It's a happy ending! Yay! Except... Except? Except what? Klee, where did you hide the treasure to begin with? Just off the road. Uh, I, um... Were you trying to blow up the fish in Starfell Lake again? This time she was not. I wasn't! I swear I wasn't! Uh, she's giving us that look that means play along. Uh-oh, Jean noticed it too. Klee? I'll see myself to solitary confinement. <laughs> hmm. Paimon, that's Klee must get bored in there all by herself. Jean? Ah, <sighs> Klee is no ordinary child. In fact, she holds the title of Spark Knight within our ranks. I like how every knight has their own title. No way! Even Klee gets to be Knight of Favonia? Sounds more impressive than honorary yes. night. Paimon, this, this is quite unjust. Oh, I thought it was cute. Although, it kind of makes sense considering what Klee's treasure does. Yes, she causes a fair share of trouble for the Knights of Favonius, but we care a great deal about her. Yes, as so for her background, mm -hmm. in short, you'll understand her more as time goes by. You want to tell me why she does not have a parent? Please keep an eye on her in the future. Oh well. I guess she's my child now. I have adopted her. Please, is my small child. Oh, come here. Right. I mean, Mr. Fluffball, you're okay with that, right? He's asleep. I'm not gonna get random meows. Guess who? That's Pokemon's voice I hear. Uh, need a bite to eat or anything? Oh, oh yes, please. Wait, no, I, I can't. She needs to be a good girl and think about what she did. This Stop is tempting small, me. This is a small child who's got some really good convictions. Like she's she's got some. I haven't seen the word. She's got some backbone to her. Anyway, I like while I'm grounded, I'm making an extra special new treasure. The Ludi Harpasta version. Okay. Uh, when you say treasure. <laughs> I made it into the shape of a harpastum and everything. It looks so cute. You, you disguised a bomb as a harpastum? Just wait for a Ludi harpastum. Oh, yeah. They're gonna love it. So, uh, you got anything to say about that, my boy? Yeesh, if Jane was listening to this, Clee might find herself grounded for an awful lot longer. Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll deal with the rest of this later, uh, but I do want to see what Solitary Confinement says. I'll be more careful next time. Aww. Next time, I'll complete a big heroic adventure all by myself, and I'll do it safely. Aww. I've heard that the Adventures Guild has its own set of rules. I wonder if I could get them to... Yeesh! If Cyrus was listening to this... He would be begging Jean to extend Clee's <laughs> sentence. He's a cute little kid. Anyway, with all that done, I think it's a really good place for us to call it. Thank you everyone so much for watching. I hope you had fun. And uh, thanks for the, I guess, the patience that you have with our guest visitor. He's currently sleeping off in the corner. Um, yeah, so 
he also would like to say happy birthday if it is your birthday and he also hopes that you've had a wonderful day regardless of it is if it is your birthday or not just as i would and if you would love to be wonderful to me please do not forget to like comment and subscribe it means the world and i just love hearing from you guys so please do that it is wonderful and uh yeah all that and more next time